Hi guys, it's ODA here and welcome back to another video. Welcome back to part 3 of a 3 part series I'm doing all about how I stay warm during winter. So in case you're new here, at the minute I'm doing a 3 part series all about how I stay warm during winter. Talking about the gear, equipment and accessories that I use in order to stay warm and comfortable during these cooler winter months. And today's a perfect um, time and day and conditions film this video because it's quite a cold winter's day. I'm quite warm now because I've been out doing some whittling and stuff um, before I came to film this video but it is still quite cold. Now I just thought I would start off this video, um, I brought on my haversack today and I thought I would start off this video just doing a few like hints from like previous videos and just like a throwback. So um, firstly from part one I brought out some hats and gloves. That's what I spoke all about in part one. I'll link all the parts down in the description. In part one, I spoke about all the clothing accessories I use, hats, gloves, scarves, snoods, all that good stuff. In part two, I talked about how I stay warm or camping or sitting slash lounging around. So that's why I've got the sit pad and um, ground sheet um, down here. That's keeping me lovely and warm and comfortable. And part three is all about how to make fire quickly because fire is obviously brilliant. When you think about how you stay warm during winter or when you're outdoors, what's the first thing you think about? I think tons of people think about fire and for a great reason. Fire is super important to keep you lovely and warm whilst outdoors. And there's tons of different ways to start fires. And in the new year, we like to trim more on this channel, different ways to start fires. Things like traditional things like um, using bow drills and all that kind of stuff using the sun. Well, during the winter, you want to be quick, though, to make fire. You don't want to be faffing around. You want to be quick so that you can make fire like that, ready to keep you lovely and warm. So that's why part three is going to be all about how um, I stay warm using fire and how I make fire quick. What's that, though? So let's get into the kit. Okay, so I'm actually going to split this video up into two parts, all in this one video, but two parts. First part's going to be going through the gear. The second part's going to be I'm using it in action. So the main part is this kit. I would just like to start off by saying this is not set in stone at all. Um, this winter I want to be outdoors as much as possible, make as little excuses, which is why I put together this kit to make fire quickly to keep me nice and warm. But it's not set in stone, things will change, time goes on, and it's just a quick kit I've put together, so it's not at all certain. So please let me know down in the comments below if you think I should add anything or take anything away or whatever. Firstly, I'm just using this like camouflage bum bag as a pouch to keep it in. Again, I've got different pouches to try out, but it's just a lovely pouch to keep all the gear in. And then inside, I've actually split the gear into two lots. Fire starters on this side, so how I actually make the fire quickly. And then on this side, tinder, because obviously fire starters is how you create the heat, if we think of a fire triangle, or it's tinder is the fuel, because obviously you can't get a match and put it straight to wood normally you need a tinder um something that can catch that spark or heat and make a big fire or like a flame extender firstly some cotton wool lovely obviously um lights up very quickly this is how i started off learning to make fire secondly i featured this before um in like my possible patch video some like cotton material that lights up super quickly and is really good for um making fires and finally i've got some tinder card um, I'll link all this gear down in the description, by the way. This is just like a card kind of material, but it's tinder, so um, it's one of those things that you can put a fair rod or a mat or anything to, and it will light and then um, burn for a long while. So in terms of fire starters, this is another area where I need to improve. I want to get a lighter in this kit, which I haven't got, but at the minute I've got two fair rods. This is a garble one, Bear Girls one, really good. Goes together um, with the striker and the fair rod inside. They don't make this anymore, I don't think, but really good. I really like that one, but the um, tin, the fair rod's wearing out a bit. And then I've got this, which is um, a small fair rod, uh, which is, again, not brilliant, but as I said, this kit isn't perfect. And finally, some matches. These are actually quite small matches. And, oops. And the, um, the striker's gone a bit, so I think I'll use my fair rod when I get to trying this out. So again, all things that need to be improved, but it'll be a good kit to start off with. And we'll practice today so that we can see which gear needs to improve and all that. But that's the kit. And then along with that, I've brought out my stove because 
um, where I am, I don't want to make a fire straight on the ground, so that's where a stove comes in handy. This is called the honey stove. Had this a while, but haven't featured it on the channel. This is a wood burning stove, so it all pieces together makes this stove that you can then light a fire in and make fire inside so that you don't have to put it straight on the ground. So let's get out to test this gear. So we'll put the stove together, I'll show that, and then we'll use the kit to actually make a fire. So as you can tell, I've got the honey stove set out here. And as you can tell from the kit, there's actually two ways to put this together. A four by four way, so it's just four parts, and that's how it says it up. Or this big, like, hexagon way, which is bigger. So it's just a slot together stove, really good. And the idea is you put sticks in here, and then you feed it in. But at, for this demonstration, I'm not going to use sticks. I'm just going to use some of the examples that I have here. So I'm going to pick the cotton wool as an example because that's what I've learned to use. And this is just a really quick example. I'm going to use cotton wool. I'm going to place that down. And I don't want to get a lot, but I think that will be enough to test it out and just demonstrate this kit to you. So in terms of, and I'm going to use this um, spare rod to demonstrate. So for this material, I like to fluff it up. That's what my practice has taught is best. Can you see this? Yep. So fluff it up and it'll make it lovely to make the fire. So just fluff it up, put it in, and then that will catch the flame from here. So fair rod, just straight put some of the material in. There, I thought I had it, but I haven't. There we have it going in. And there, that can then be transported into that. And there you have the fire, and then you can feed a bit more in. If you want, light it up and feed it into the fire. And there you have it. That's how I make fire quick whilst out in the woods or just doing things outdoors. And there you have it. That's how I make fire quick whilst outdoors during these winter months. And it's lovely and warm um, to keep me lovely and warm during these winter months. And obviously, the whole idea of this kit and this stove isn't just to last like this. The whole idea is to get steaks, just break them off trees or whatever, as you can see behind me. And then feed that into the stove to keep it going. Eventually, you can get bigger sticks. Yeah, I, but for this demonstration, I've only used tinder. And it's lasted quite well. It's still burning. And also, Tinder makes a ton of sparks, so which isn't brilliant. So that's why this kit is designed as just to start off the fire, then you feed in things like sticks to get it going. But here, I've demonstrated the kit, just a quick fire. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you enjoyed seeing how I make fire whilst outdoors. Hope you enjoyed part three. And in case you're wondering, I'll link all the parts and a playlist with all the parts down in the description, because these winter months, are cold and they can be dangerous when you're outdoors but they can be brilliant as well if you know how to stay warm and protected and all that good stuff so if you want to see about the clothing accessories i use hats gloves scuffs snoods all that see part one if you want to see how i stay warm using things like ground sheets sit pads all that see part two and fire that's this video so i hope you enjoyed this video and please stay tuned for more videos especially during these winter months bye